بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so next thing let's try to understand uh, more about the standards we'll try to get into individual standards and the features of individuals so starting with the first one 800.11 which was the first uh, we can say the first standard which was introduced by ieee again in 1997 when the wireless ieee standard has been ratified so technically this was just named as 800.11 and there's no abc like that so but again it was offering a speed of around 1 to 2 mbps that is a transmission speed at that time it was operating now even though this was one of the first standard but it was not really much popular because the main reason is at that point of time we used to have something like 10 mbps of ethernet speed the wide network so basically in order to provide the connectivity for the users so again 1 to 2 mbps is something not really preferable so most of the people didn't go with that the reason because of the throughput that's one of the reason and it was operating uh, in the frequency band of 2.4 gigahertz so we can say this was one of the first standard but in generally you don't find this 800.11 the first standard in most of the list because that's not really wide not not widely adopted by the by the users so technically when you see the standard list you will find the list starting from a b like that now these are like the enhancements or the new versions now again these two standards were ratified around in 1999 so when these two standards were ratified and generally the difference is like a and b that's what and the main difference between these two is the a, a standard operates on 5 gigahertz frequency band whereas the b operates on 2.4 gigahertz frequency band so and again if you if you just compare the throughput between them like this was operating this can support up to 54 mbps that's like the maximum throughput we can say and again this throughput will vary depending upon the number of users you connect again so that will come down automatically when you have more number of users now again 800.11b again it can support up to 11 11 mbps throughput so even though if you compare these two 54 mbps seems to be a better option but again 800.11b has been more popular because of the frequency range because uh, most of the devices they do support 2.4 gigahertz frequency range which is kind of widely acceptable frequency range so that that makes this this 800.11b still in today's networks the ab is some kind of more popular because of this frequency range even though the throughput as i said it may not provide a better throughput than than a now 5 gigahertz frequency range most of the devices are not operate uh, operating at that frequency so it's like difficult to connect because one of the requisite you know whenever you are connecting your wireless client and to any access point or any other wireless device so you need to make sure that they are operating on the same frequency so if you are using 2.4 gigahertz here and then you you are trying to connect to another uh, frequency kind of thing you will not be able to connect so you can compare this similar to your fm station where you tune to the frequency to connect to that particular channel so the same thing here now b is the one of the first most popular uh, kind of standard operating at a throughput of 11 mbps and also it is backward compatible with this standard so even if you have some some wireless devices implemented with the previous 800.11 you can still operate with them but of course the throughput will degrade to 1 or 2 mbps automatically now again the good thing about this b is it is also uh, compatible with the next standard 800.11 g so that's the reason most of the wireless products you use they will have something like 800.11b or g kind of thing which means it supports the b standard devices as well as a g standard device so again a g is again the next one uh, the distance again you can see the throughput wise these are the differences of course both the standard supports up to 400 feet uh, distance now when you talk about the next one like 800.11g this is something what we'll see here in this uh, slide now again the g is again one of the more popular in today's network 
again, it is a backward compatible, which means it can operate with B devices as well as G because they use the same frequency range, 2.4 gigahertz. And currently, most of the wireless products you use, they will be having something like this, 8.11, B or G, something like that. And the maximum throughput, it can offer up to 54 Mbps. And again, it is backward compatible with, uh, with 8.11B, which again works with 11 Mbps throughput when it, when it is trying to communicate or talk to the B, B standard devices.